Right, I've made a couple of action plans for some of the weaknesses of my hockey player, and the first one is cardiovascular fitness, which was a weakness. I'll be doing a macro cycle of 12 weeks for this, um, and I'll be doing it for three times a week in a micro cycle. This will to be overloaded, and I will. This will involve tread, going on the treadmill and the rower. In the first week, I'd start off low on the treadmill and it increase the time and duration and the speed at which they go out throughout the whole of the 12 weeks and I do the same with the rower. So with the rower um, I change the time limit that they have to do it and I change the target distance that they have to reach by the end of it. Um, I do a pre-test for the cardiovascular fitness of at the Cooper run to um, see how many laps they can do within the 12 minute time limit um, and then I would do that as a pe the post test after I've done they've done the practice is after they've done all the method and progression to see if they've improved it as well. Um, the method of training is continuous, so they wouldn't have any, they'd have um, just all in one like straight flat out for the fifteen minutes or however long the period of time is that they'll be doing it for. My second area of weakness is aerial balls. Um, the pre-test, I'd put cones out and see if they could flick it into the cones. Like I'd give them 10 attempts to see how many they could get in it without it bouncing beforehand. Um, and I'd do, that post, I'd do that after all the progression as well as the post-test to see if they'd improved. Um, this would be a macro cycle made up of a couple of meso cycles. Uh, of a six week pe time period, three times a week again. And in the first meso cycle, they'll be practicing flicking the ball a um, certain distance to like, they'll be pra practicing that sort of like the motion of it. Um, and the leg movement, to try and get the perfect flick. And then it'll be the distance to see if it get in further. And then I'd bring a friend in or another opponent into the position and see if they could flick it to them um, accurately um, and then I'd put it into a game situation and then there'd be chances for them to aerial ball it accurately over the to a player on their team. Uh, the method of this is progressive practices as, as it'll increase in difficulty each time. Yeah and then the post test would be to see if they could um, see how they'd improved, see how far they could get it and how accurately they could get it.